So we're moving into 4.3, simplifying expressions. And remember, with algebraic expressions, we have to do something with them. So the first thing we did was evaluate them when we plug and solve. The second thing we did was we actually wrote some of them. We took our English words and wrote something that would be considered an algebraic expression like this. So before we simplify them, we have to be able to identify what each of the terms are. So I like to call this one, everyone wants a special name. So these, this algebraic expression is made up of three parts. And how can I name those? So you're like, oh, that's a four, that's a number, it's a whole number, that's a variable, that's a plus sign, oh, that's a seven, it's also an integer, that's another variable, another plus sign, oh, and that's just a one but they all want extra special names. So they're part of this algebraic expression, then they get that extra special name. So what, okay, calm down. You don't have to write this first part down, okay? So you're gonna pause the screen or just listen. Okay? You're gonna write this one down. But let's just listen real quick. So remember, algebraic in an expression is a variable expression like n plus 6, which is a combination of variables, numbers, and at least one operation. I'm not having you write this down again because you've already written it down. You should have this. So part of the algebraic expression, or each part is called a term. So the parts of an algebraic expression that are added together are called terms. So let me give you an example. If I had 3m plus 2 minus, let's say, 4m, this is an algebraic expression, and it has three parts. But I need to have it all adding. Okay? So this is what this bit says here. I need to change any subtraction to addition by adding the opposite. Because remember, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. I know a lot of you are keep change, change. So before you do anything with simplifying expressions, the very first thing I want you to do is change any subtraction to addition. So I'm going to keep the 3m plus 2. I keep the 2. I change my subtraction to addition, and I changed this to the negative 4m. So that the very first step is to change any subtraction to addition. So I have my three terms. This is one part, another part, and another part. But within that, they even get more special names. And you're like, what? Just like we all have special names too. So the first special name is called a coefficient. Okay. And that is the number that multiplies the variable in a term. So this was that algebraic expression we had at the very first slide. So I want to identify what my coefficients are. So it's the number that multiplies the variable. So if I'm looking here, I have two variables, and here are the numbers that are multiplying it. So my coefficients. My coefficients are going to be 4, 4 and 7. And that's it. And then we also can decide if we have what we call light terms. And these have identical variable parts raised to the same power. And so what that means, if I have a and a squared, those are not like terms. This is to the first power, and this is to the second. So these are not like terms. But if I look back at my algebraic expression, I would have two terms that I can consider like terms. So in my parentheses, I like to say, like, we totally have the same outfit. So who has the same outfit? 4a and 7a, they have the same outfit. 
So they're like terms. So four A and seven A. So coefficient is the one that multiplies the variable. Like terms have the same variable to the same power. So these are my like terms. Notice this one doesn't have a variable here. So this one can't be part of the like terms. It doesn't have the same outfit. But what can we call this one? He wants to be have a special name too. He doesn't want to be left alone. So the special name that he gets is called a constant. So it's a term that has no variable. And I like to say he's constantly alone. So back to that algebraic expression, my constant is going to be 1. So part of the problems for 4.3 are just identifying what are the coefficients, what are the like terms, and what are the constants. But the most important thing you need to remember is to change any subtraction to addition. All right, and so let's do some problems. So I like to call it the name game. So here's what we need to identify. We need to identify the coefficients, the like terms, and constant terms. So I notice that it has all additions. So off to the side, I'm just going to write what I'm looking for so I can stay organized. So I have my coefficients. I have my like terms. and I have my constants. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and who are my co-pilots? So I see I have a three, I have an eight. I also have a one in here, because remember this is one B, it would be like one of the algebra tiles, one X. So there's always a one there, we just don't write it unless we need to see it. So my coefficients are gonna be three, eight and one. My like terms are going to be the ones with the variable to the same power. And it actually, if I had another constant here, the, those could be like terms as well. So I'm going to, here are my like terms. And you can just write B or if you want to put that one there, that's totally fine, up to you. And then my constant is going to be 12. So everybody gets a special name. All right, so let's take a look at this example. So again, the very first thing I need to do is change this subtraction to addition. So A plus 5, I keep this, I change this to addition, and I change this to its opposite. So it's going to be negative 4A. These are the same expression. They just look a little different. Again, I've changed this subtraction to adding the opposite. So I'm going to look for my coefficients, my like terms, and my constants. And you may or may not have constants. Okay. So coefficient. Now remember, there's always a 1 hanging out here, so my coefficient is going to be 1 and negative 4. If we don't change it to addition, a lot of people think it would be a positive 4. My like terms are going to be a and negative 4a, and my constant is going to be 5. Okay, so that's half of 4.3, and we'll um, watch another video for the rest of 4.3 on how we simplify.